Hi, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and today I'd like to talk to you about analog to digital conversion. You might notice a lot of our controllers now have analog to digital conversion built in. We also have some standalone products for this. Now, I want to go over this a little bit with you today, tell you some of the rules with it, tell you some of the capabilities, and maybe it'll help you decide whether or not you need it, or maybe help you figure out how to use it. Now, one of the main standards for sensors in the electronics industry is zero to five volt output. They'll make these sensors that generate a zero to five volt output. What we've done is we've incorporated inputs to our controllers that read a zero to five volt input. They take that zero to five volts, they assign a number to it, and then they transfer it to your computer. So your computer can receive these numbers and it can use these numbers to trigger events like turn a relay on and off or trigger a timer. All kinds of different things can be done with it. So I want to go over a couple of ground rules with you on our A to D inputs. Number one, never apply a voltage to these inputs, to these A to D inputs, whenever the controller is powered off. Meaning if you have power disconnected from it, do not apply power to these inputs it can damage the controller, so be sure not to do that. Another thing, these inputs are rated from zero to five volts DC, and you have to stay within those tolerances. You can never apply a negative DC voltage, you can never apply a voltage over to five volts, and you can never apply an AC current voltage. So, be sure and remember that, and then also remember that the ground to these A to D inputs is shared with the controller. So you may need to know that. Um, so a couple other things to add would be some of our controllers, most of our controllers are capable of 8 or 10 bit resolution. If you're in 8 bit resolution, what's going to happen is it's going to read the input on these A to D inputs at zero to five volts and it's going to take that and it's going to assign it one number and it's going to send it back to your computer. So if the voltage is five volts, you're going to get 255. If the voltage is zero volts, you're going to get zero. If the voltage were 2.5 volts, you'd get 128. This is in 8-bit mode. Now in 10-bit mode and some controllers which have 12-bit resolution, you're going to get two bytes received back from the controller. One's your most significant byte and one's the least significant byte. If you're going to be doing this, be sure and read our article on A to D conversion on the resources page of our website. It'll tell you exactly how to do this. So do that, read that article, read the manual for the controller you have, and that should pretty well line out what you need to know. The manual and the article is going to tell you how to read the status of these inputs. They don't, the board's not constantly transmitting that input on the controller to your computer. You have to query the device for that input. So you have to say, what is the status of A to D input 1? It'll return a value. What is the A to D status of input 2? It'll return a status to you. So you need to write into your program to query these inputs, and there's commands for that on our manual and resources on our article. So read up on those to figure out exactly how that works. I think that I've pretty well covered everything I want to cover in this video. Um, if you have any more questions, you can email me. My email is travis at controlanything.com, or you can give us a call here. We're open from 4, 9 o'clock a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, our number here is 417-646-5644. Give us a call, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you with anything we can. So that's this video, and I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing you in the upcoming videos that we'll be posting on our website. And thanks for stopping by.